So a brief background about Next Elixir University. We were launched in 2012 with a vision of democratizing the digital marketing industry through exceptional knowledge and expertise sharing. And our goal is to share best practices in retail and digital marketing with 10,000 businesses worldwide by 2015. We invite you to join our LinkedIn group, Next Elixir University. So we're going to cover an, a Net Elixir University's thought leadership series. So let me share with you the core purpose behind our thought leadership series. Our vision is to aspire and to create a knowledge sharing platform where proven ideas from not, uh, digital marketing thought leaders can influence businesses around the globe. So basically, we reached out to industry leaders and invited them to share their practical knowledge and advice with Nets Elixir University members and summarize their advice in 30 words so we can capture the essence of their advice. We work with them and their teams to create blog posts, which we'll actually be publishing over the next couple of weeks. So clearly, the idea here is to inspire and influence marketers who face a uniquely challenging holiday season. I now invite Keith Levitt our Senior Client Relationship Manager, to share the advice of these thought leaders with you. Over to you, Keith. Thanks, Marin. The first piece of advice that we want to share is from Ajit. He runs Lenovo.com. Lenovo, as we, know, as we all know, is the world's largest PC company. Lenovo's holiday retail advice um, Marketing is challenging. The future will be more about accountability, agility, and customer centricity. Customers will drive a two-way dialogue, which they will control. Customers will, will drive a two-way dialogue, which they will control. That's important that the customers are going to be the one controlling the dialogue um, moving forward in Ajit's opinion. So how do we take advantage of that? We asked Ajit to share with us how exactly they are trying to initiate a two-way dialogue with their customers at Lenovo. This is Lenovo's homepage. To initiate a dialogue with their customers, they invited Ashton Kutcher to announce the launch of their new yoga tablet on Twitter using the hashtag BetterWay, a phrase they continued to use throughout the campaign. Just to give you an example, this is how Ashton Kutcher started tweeting. By always using hashtag BetterWay and at Lenovo, they were able to stimulate the customer dialogue and also collect invaluable customer feedback during the launch process for, for, the, for, the, for the yoga tablet. Our second thought leader is Mac Harmon, CEO of Balsam Brands, one of the six fastest growing e-commerce companies in the U.S. They sell Christmas trees online. As you all probably know, this year has six fewer days between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mac's advice is plan for the implications in advance and track sales growth versus an appropriate base year, not last year. I thought it would be appropriate for me to share the holiday cal calendar that Netflix de developed back in August because it aligns very well with Mac's advice. Uh, in this calendar, we tried to identify the top competitive days where we think the cost per clicks will increase the most to help retailers prepare for what we believe will be an exceptionally intense 
holiday season. So as you can see, the, um, the days marked in red, we expect to see a 50% increase in cost per click. Uh, the days marked in orange, we expect a 30% increase in cost per click. And the days marked in yellow, we expect to see a 25% increase in cost per click. If you notice, uh, December 16th and 17th, uh, the Monday, the last Monday before Christmas, that's a typically high, high uh, traffic day. Um, and the 17th is uh, usually the last shipping day for gifts to arrive before Christmas. So um, if there's any way that anybody can extend the, that last day to the 18th or the 19th, uh, that can help drive last minute, last minute sales. So there's an opportunity there. Our next thought leader in the series is Rick Amer, who is the Chief Operating Officer at That Pet Place. Rick's holiday retail advice, build year-round loyalty by offering existing customers better offers than those in your standard holiday campaign. Support the effort with targeted marketing that tells them that they're special. Rick has also explained as to how that pet place implements their year-round loyalty program in five steps. Step one, segment customers based on purchasing criteria like lifetime value, category history, average order value, seasonal buying pattern, and, and sales channel. Uh, step two, once these customers are segmented, develop segment-specific messaging and promotions. Um, then, in order to promote these offers, Use timed email campaigns and customized site banners to, to ensure that the right message hits the right customers. Um, step four, to take advantage of, the, of late shoppers, you can include free upgraded shipping, percentage and dollar off discounts, and segmented offers from preferred brands. And lastly, make sure that you're tracking all of the promotions based on response and update the creative accordingly. Uh, based on conversion and proximity to the holiday shopping deadline. We, as we all know, it's important to track everything do everything we do in in, uh, in the online retail and because we can we can um, make uh, last minute changes as needed and increase success. And finally, we have Brett Goffin, head of retail at Google. Google's retail advice, the NRF estimates that 40% of shoppers start their holiday shopping in October. With a much shorter holiday season this year, retailers need to take advantage of being able to remarket to consumers multiple times throughout the season. Per Google's data, last year's longer season allowed consumers to make purchases later in the calendar but this year, since it's, a, since it's a, a super short holiday season, the number of opportunities to market to, cons to consumers has to be carefully planned. We know that this year, since it's later, um, there's going to be more a longer time um, from November to Thanksgiving for us to uh, start the remarketing messaging um, early. So during the, the peak season, um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, they'll hopefully have seen our message once, and we can hit them with the right message um, when it matters most. So effectively, what retailers need to focus on this year is an extensive focus on remarketing, even before Thanksgiving, so that they're able to convert them at, at less expensive CPCs when it matters. So the key takeaways, Ajit's advice is to creatively engage customers. Mac's advice is to have a plan ready for, for a much shorter holiday season. Rick's advice is to build year-round loyalty by presenting existing customers better offers. And Brett's advice is to maximize multiple customer touch points by applying remarketing practices.
Okay, thank you so much, Keith. So because of this super busy holiday season, some of our experts were not able to attend today, but during the session we have been receiving questions, and we can share a couple of those questions with you now, and then you can always feel free to send us additional questions by emailing Keith at netelixir.com, and we will definitely forward them along to Ajit, Mac, Rick, and Brett. And um, you know, then we'll be sure to share all of the questions and answers with today's attendees. So a couple of the questions we've been getting, um, one of them here is, um, what remarketing options are available on Google to maximize customer touch points? And just to give you an example, another one is how does that pet place segment customers? And like I said, we will be sharing all these questions and answers, so feel free to send them over to us um, and keep sending them over. And also feel free to tweet them at hashtag NetElixirUniversity. So also if you are interested and want to know more about NetElixir search marketing solutions, you can always feel free to contact me directly, Marin Hirsch. My email is Marin at netelixir.com. So on behalf of Net Elixir University, we want to thank you so much for, again for joining us today. Thank you, Keith, for presenting. And thank you to all of our thought leaders for sharing those um, helpful tips and advice for this holiday season. And best of luck to you. Have a great rest of your day.